So far, we've used Windows SharePoint services to create a group board workspace. Within it, we've added new users, created a new organizational group for those users in the company org chart, created new resources, explored tools that help us manage these resources, taken a look at scheduling and reservation, and set up a wiki site as well. Let's continue to explore the various web parts that we're able to leverage. To begin, let's take a look at the What's New web part. You can see that I've highlighted the What's New web part and it's in the top right hand corner of the group board workspace. It highlights new meeting requests ensuring that all team members know about the upcoming calendar items. And it's a great quick glance way to make sure that you're on top of your schedule. Now, let's take a look at the whereabouts web part. As the title suggests, the whereabouts allows you to quickly and easily track the locations of the individuals throughout the day. Let's go and add in our product launch team. After I click on new, all I'm going to have to do is select the product launch team. Once I click add and then I click create, it's been created for us. And now I'll go back to the home page and show you how this works. On the right hand side of the screen you'll see the whereabouts web part and you can see in real time where people are in the office. For example, let's say that we're Dave Richards and we're currently out of the office. Let's edit our whereabouts. We could just say out of office, but we'd like to be more specific. Let's say conference in Seattle. And then click OK. Now, when anyone else who has accessed this site logs in, they can quickly see Dave Richards is out of the office. Let's say Cheryl, Dave Richards' administrative assistant, sees that uh, Dave is out of the office and she gets a call for Dave. She can quickly say, oh, I'm sorry, Dave is actually at a conference in Seattle. Would you like to leave a message for him? And if the caller says yes, she can go to the left-hand side and click on phone call memo. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's say that I'm calling for Dave. So Cheryl's going to go in, click New, and then enter in the information. The call is from Brian Kane, and this is a call for Dave Richards. And I'm going to leave Dave a message uh, regarding important information about SharePoint services. And then once I click OK, that message has been sent to Dave. The first thing Dave's going to do when he returns to the office is change his whereabouts to in. Then, once he does, he can take a look at that phone call memo that Cheryl left him. You can see all the different details, the message is from me, etc. While I'm here, I want to point out one other feature. You can set up email alerts, so as soon as someone is assigned a phone call memo, they're instantly sent an email telling them the details of it. This is great, especially for Dave, because he's out of the office. And with the whereabouts, there's another very compelling feature and that's the Office Communicator integration. Office Communicator is a free download, so do a search on Microsoft.com for it. As I hover over each name, I'll see a sphere, and then I'll show me in real time what the status is of that individual on Office Communicator. In this case, Dave is currently not in. However, if I select this dropdown, I could start an instant message with him, schedule a meeting with him, even send him an email. Let's go ahead and send him an instant message. And we'll just say, hi Dave, glad you're back in the office. Next, 
let's take a look at another great web part and that's the time card earlier I signed in let me go ahead and click out and then show you some of the time card features here we have a more detailed view of the time card the most important thing I'm trying to stress to you with the time card is that it's an extremely easy way for non-salaried employees to clock in, clock out, track their hours, overtime, and vacation. It's also a very flexible tool in that you can have multiple shifts, flex time, holidays, and more. And with it, you can easily see when the worker clocked in, clocked out, the number of hours worked, if they came in early, if they came in late, if they left early, if they left late, if they're on overtime, etc. And then one more important feature, and that's the ability to create a data sheet using this time card information. Let me go ahead and do so. Here we can see our time card as an access data sheet. One additional thing we can do is go to Actions, Export to Spreadsheet, and then open this up in Excel and then I could save it as a document and email it to our accountant who cuts the checks. A very great way for small businesses to handle their payroll. Now I'd like to show you one other incredible feature and that's the ability to create surveys. So let's go to site actions and then select create. Once in under tracking we're going to choose survey. Let's go ahead and create an employee satisfaction survey. Then I'm going to start typing my first question. Our first question will be do you feel you're provided clear expectations of your job role and function? And then we're going to select the response type. In this case, it's a dichotomous yes or no checkbox. You can see we have a variety of other options. Now I'm going to go in and configure those other questions as well. I've now finished creating the survey, and I want to show you a few of the options. What we can do, we can save this as a template. So let's say other teams want to use this survey. Also, we can set up permissions so that only particular people are able to see it. Finally, let's see the survey in action. To take the survey, I'm going to click on Employee Satisfaction Survey on the left-hand side of the screen. Then I'll click on Respond to Survey in the top left hand corner. Now, all I have to do is go through and fill out the survey. I just want to point out to you that you can set up branching logic. So, for example, let's say that you answered yes to a particular question. That could trigger a follow up question that only occurs if you had answered yes. Now that our responses are in, let's take a look at the results. Let's click show a graphical summary of the responses. And then we can visually see our employee satisfaction metrics. For example, one area we might be concerned with is the question, do you feel overworked? 100% of respondents said yes. Perhaps we need to bring on some additional employees. That concludes this section on the Group Board Workspace. I want to stress to you that Windows SharePoint Services is a free add-on with any Windows Server operating system. So if you went out and you purchased Small Business Server, you have SharePoint. And you can see that right out of the box, you can do so much with it.